Good day everyone. Thank you to the Sanctuario de San Antonio Parish Foundation for inviting me again, Armand Benko, to share the importance of financial literacy with all of you, the SSAP scholars. Welcome to Mathematics of Money, Essential Concepts for Financial Planning. In this video, we will explore the basics of how money grows over time and learn ways to make smarter financial decisions. Let's dive in. Why does understanding money math matter? Well, when we understand how money works, we can make better decisions that help us today and in the future. This knowledge is not just for financial experts. It is for everyone who wants to grow and protect their hard-earned money. The time value of money or TVM, is the idea that a peso today is worth more than a peso tomorrow. This concept is based on the idea that money can grow if you invest it. It is the foundation of smart financial planning because it helps us understand the benefit of saving and investing early. Let's look at a practical example. Imagine you are saving up for a big purchase like a laptop. If you start saving now, even a small amount each month, that money will grow over time. This is the power of TVM. The sooner you start saving, the less you will need to save each month to reach your goal. Interest is the amount of money paid for borrowing or earned for saving. It is like a fee if you are borrowing and a reward if you are saving. Interest is a powerful tool that can help us grow our money over time, but understanding it is key to making it work for us. Let us start with simple interest. The formula for simple interest is straightforward. Principal times rate times time. If you invest 1,000 pesos at a simple interest rate of 5% per year, you will earn 50 pesos per year. The amount of interest remains the same each year because it is calculated only on the original amount. Compound interest is even more powerful. With compound interest, you earn interest on your original investment and on the interest that accumulates over time. This is called interest on interest. Over time, compounding can grow your money faster than simple interest. It is one of the key reasons to start saving and investing early. Now, let's talk about inflation. Inflation is the increase in prices over time, which decreases your purchasing power. For example, a basket of groceries that cost 100 pesos today might cost 110 pesos next year due to inflation. This is important because it means the money you save now will be worth less in the future. To outpace inflation, we need to grow our money faster than prices increase. Investing can help, but we need to understand the risks and returns. This is where TVM and compounding can work in our favor. By planning ahead and investing wisely, we can make sure our money keeps up with inflation over time. Now that we have an idea and we understand the basics, let us talk about setting financial goals. A financial goal could be saving for something big, like a car, a vacation, or further education. By setting clear goals, we can break down the amount we need and figure out how much to save regularly to reach them. When saving for big goals, using the time value of money can help us achieve them more efficiently. Let's say you want to save 3 million pesos for your own house 20 years from now. With the power of compounding, you can calculate how much to save monthly and earn some interest, making it easier to reach that target amount faster. Let us recap. First, we learned that money grows over time due to the time value of money. Next, we look at the difference between simple 
and compound interest and how compounding can accelerate growth. We also discuss inflation and how it affects our purchasing power. And finally, we saw how to apply these concepts to reach big financial goals. Remember, even small steps can lead to big achievements in financial planning. In closing, I want to encourage each of you to start today. Even if it's a small amount, saving and investing now can make a huge difference in your future. Financial success is not about how much you start with. It is about the habits you build along the way. Thank you and best of luck on your financial journey.